take a look at GCOD number 12. This is all about constructions. Now, this isn't about pacing or anything, but I always put this at the very beginning of my year. I find that constructions are where all of the beautiful language and notation come out naturally in this new Common Core layout. So this actually happens to be my, my very first week where we pull out the compass and the ruler and get excited about geometry. Uh, we, we get out our tools, our straight edge, and our, and our compass. I always like the circular compasses best. Um, and then we construct, and I didn't list everything, but segments and angles and bisect angles and line segments and perpendicular lines and on a point, off, off of the line, on the line, all of those things, midpoint relationships. All of that early stuff. And isn't there great mathematics in that? And great language and things that are very important early on in the year. It sets the stage for a whole new type of, of math geometry with a compass and a straight edge. So um, what's the big idea? For me, the big idea is establishing the early relationships of perpendicular and parallel and midpoint and all of those terms. and and recording them and notating them as you go along. The traps and the pitfall <coughs> are if you don't notate and if you don't stop and, and show them the physical mathematical language that goes with the constructions, they don't get it. And so when you start using the symbols of angle and perpendicular and talking about those things, they get lost. Use a lot of notation right here. The other thing is, again, my reflections, do this first. You will love it. They will love it. It will set a whole new tone for the year. And uh, uh, constructions are a very powerful way to help them understand the new geometric world they're about to enter.